Hey everyone, Dr. Tony Hampton here, your friendly neighborhood metabolic health doc and of course carnivore. And today, I've got a message that could save you from a kidney freak out you might not ever need to have. Have you ever seen your labs and thought, wait a minute, why is my creatinine high? Is it my kidney function that's crashing? Hold up, before you panic or toss your ribeye. Let me show you why. If you're on a carnivore or a high protein diet, your labs might be lying to you. And I'll explain why there's a better test that most docs aren't ordering. So stick around. This one's important. And if you're thriving on a carnivore diet, please, please, please share your story in the video comments because so many people would benefit if they only had heard your story. Now let's talk about labs. The creatinine. It's the go-to blood marker we use to assess kidney function. Sounds simple, right? But here's the thing. Creatinine isn't just about kidney function. It's also about muscle mass and protein metabolism. So if you're a carnivore, if you're lifting, if you're walking past the mirror flexing just a little longer than usual, guess what? You're likely going to have more creatinine floating around in your blood, even if your kidneys are doing just fine. When we eat more protein or have more lean body mass, creatinine levels rise. But that doesn't mean your kidneys are failing. It might just mean you're thriving. But when your doctor sees that creatinine creeping up, they may say your GFR is dropping. That's the estimated glomerular filtration rate. But the GFR calculations assume your creatinine is only influenced by your kidneys, not your diet or your biceps. That's where the confusion begins. This is where I introduce you to the Clark Kent of lab tests. Modest, overlooked, but powerful, and it's called cystatin C. Unlike creatinine, cystatin C is not affected by your steak dinners or your muscle mass. It's produced at a constant rate by all cells in your body and filtered exclusively by your kidneys. If your kidneys are functioning well, they clear cystatin C out. If they're struggling, it starts to build up. Simple, no dietary distractions and no gym games muddling the waters. So if you really want to know how your kidneys are doing, especially if you're a carnivore, cystatin C is a test you didn't know you needed. Now imagine you've got both tests, a creatinine and a cystatin C. That gives you a superpower way to assess your kidney function, one that doesn't rely solely on a marker that's influenced by your diet. This combined method is more accurate, especially in people who eat differently, like you, my carnivore friends. So instead of wondering whether your rising creatinine means you've got one foot in dialysis, ask your doc to check your cystatin C along with your standard glomerular filtration rate. That way you're not punished for building muscle or eating like a lion. Now let's address the elephant, or should I say the grass-fed cow in the room. There's a persistent myth that high protein or carnivore diets damage your kidneys. You've probably heard it. Oh no, all that meat is too much for your poor little kidneys. Well, unless you already have severe pre-existing kidney disease, let me say it again, zero solid evidence showing that a high protein or animal-based diet causes kidney damage in healthy individuals. In fact, protein helps maintain lean mass, support immune function, and keep you full, which by the way, helps with weight loss and metabolic health. And don't even get me started on how diabetes and hypertension are the real villains behind kidney failure. Blaming meat for kidney disease is like blaming your shoes for being tired after a marathon. Let's focus on the real root causes. So you may be asking, what do I do if my labs come back with an elevated creatinine or my GFR is low while eating carnivore? Step one, don't panic. Step two, look at the full clinical picture. How do you feel? Are you hydrated? What's your blood pressure like? Is there any swelling, fatigue, or changes in urination? If the answer is those things are fine, don't worry so much. You are thriving as a carnivore and you should continue to do so. Step number three, ask for cystatin C testing. Step four, ask your doctor to continue to run the standard GFR test so you can compare the two markers. Step five, consider a urinalysis or a urine albumin to creatinine ratio test as well. And you're doing this to check for early signs of kidney stress. And with this approach, you'll have a better way to assess your kidney function that won't lead you down the rabbit holes of unwarranted fear. And as you know, fear is false evidence appearing real. And if you haven't seen my video about fear, I'll be sure to share it at the end of this video so you won't have fear 
holding you back. But here's the truth. A single creatinine value is just one pixel in a very large picture. Don't let that one pixel paint the whole canvas. Let's stop the confusion and start educating ourselves and our clinicians. If you're living the carnivore life, reversing diabetes, losing weight, lowering inflammation, don't let an outdated interpretation of labs derail your journey. You need better tools, better context, and better conversations. That's what this channel is all about. And if this message resonates with you, share this video with someone who's been told their kidneys are failing, but they're thriving on real food. Leave a comment below if you've ever been confused or scared by your labs. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll never miss a beat in your metabolic journey of healing. I'm Dr. Hampton and I'll see you in the next video.